Hi everyone and uh, welcome to maths class. This is Miss McDonald here. First of all, I want to thank you for taking the time out of your day to do some maths during a difficult time. Today, we're going to talk about Pythagoras and gradient and this is going to be revision session. So just practicing if you already know how to do Pythagoras and gradient. The formula that we'll need. So for Pythagoras, the formula we need is uh, c squared equals a squared plus b squared. This one will be on the formula sheet. Um, if you're trying to find a short side, you also need a squared is equal to c squared minus b squared. It really doesn't make a difference which way around the letters are, but just remember, hypotenuse, long side, if you're looking for that, it's going to be an add. And if you're looking for the short side, it's going to be a subtract. And we'll also need to use the gradient formula, which is m, which stands for gradient, is vertical over horizontal. And just remember that over or a fraction is just a fancy way of saying divide. So I'm gonna try a question and then I'll give you a question to try too. First question here, we've got a right angle triangle, that's important because Pythagoras doesn't work for any other kind of triangle and also gradient only works for right angle triangles. And it says, does the gradient of this hill exceed 0 0.5? Good question. We actually have everything we need right now. We've got the vertical height, we've got the horizontal length, so we can just jump straight into uh, the gradient. M is equal to V over H, vertical over horizontal, which in this case will be 3 over 5. I can use a calculator or I can use my knowledge of what 1 fifth looks like. And this will be 0 0.6. So have we answered the question? No. We've done a sum, we've shown that the gradient is 0 0.6, but to answer the question, we have to put in, um, yes, the gradient exceeds 0 0.5, uh, and we'll just say that 0 0.5 is less than 0 0.6. Okay, similar question. Pause and try it. Okay. I hope you actually gave this a go because that's the best way to get um, use out of these revision materials. So, this one here, does the gradient of this hill exceed 0 0.5? We've got the vertical height, we've got the horizontal length, so we can jump into m is equal to v over h, which is going to be 4 for the vertical height over 10. Again, you can use a calculator, you can use your knowledge of fractions, or just dividing by 10, and this is going to be 0 0.5. Four. Have we answered the question? No. So let's go back and do it. No, the gradient does not exceed 0 0.5 and then 0 0.5 is greater than 0 0.4. Okay, let's step it up a little. So this one here for me and this one for you. So for safety reasons, the gradient of the ramp must be less than 0 0.6. Is this ramp safe? By the way, if you're hearing a weird scratching noise, that is my two house rabbits. They are called Magic and Mila. Um, and you might hear them throughout videos <laughs> like that. Okay, let's do this. First of all, do we have what we need to work out the gradient? We've got a vertical height. Oh no, we do not have a horizontal length. So we need to work out this H here before we can start doing the gradient. And the way that we're gonna do that is we're gonna start with Pythagoras. Then we need to think to ourselves. Is this a short side or is it a long side that we're looking for? The long side is the hypotenuse here. It's the one that's always across from the right angle, never touches the right angle. So we need to use this formula here. a squared is equal to c squared minus b squared. Doesn't make a difference which way around the letters are, but the important part is that it's a minus for a short side. And this formula will not be on the formula sheet. So you've got to try and remember it. Starting with my formula, a squared equals c squared minus b squared. I'm now going to do my substitution. Because I don't want a negative answer, there's no such thing as negative length, I'm going to have to make sure that the bigger number comes first. So 6 squared minus 3 squared. We can calculate that using the square button on our calculator. You can type this in all at once. 6 squared minus 3 squared is 27. Now it wouldn't make sense to have a triangle where the height is 3, 
we've got a 6 and then a 27. So you've got to think to yourself, what do I need to do further? Ah, I need to square root it because I've worked out a squared and what I want to work out is a. So I work out a, it's going to be the square root of 27. In my calculator, I can just press the square root and then the answer button here and that will give me 5.196 blah blah blah. 5.196 blah blah blah. So now I've got all of the information that I need. That's that's h there is this 5.2. So I can then go and do my gradient is equal to vertical over horizontal, showing my formula first. Then my substitution, the vertical height is 3, the horizontal height I now know is 5.2. So I'll have 3 divided by 5.2 gives me 0 0.57. I better actually include that 6 in there for rounding purposes. 0 0.576. Okay, um, which will then round to 0 0.58. Nice. Let's answer the question. And we want to make sure that there's context in here as well. So yes, the ramp is safe and then we've got an explanation. Okay, here's one for you. Any hill with a gradient over one will require the installation of stairs or steps. Should stairs be built on this hill? And we've got eight here, 5.5 here. Pause and try. First of all, we don't have all of the information that we need. Um, we have the hypotenuse, the longest side. We don't have the vertical height, but we do have the horizontal length. So we need to work out that vertical height. We're going to use Pythagoras. It's not looking for the long side, so we're going to have to look for the short side using a squared is equal to c squared minus b squared, which is not how Pythagoras would have written it because algebra wasn't invented when he was about. Making sure we put the bigger length first, we've got 8 squared minus 5.5. Square 33.75. We need to square root it to actually work out what a is. So square root of the answer button, just use an answer here to save some time. 5.809, blah, blah, blah. Ideally, you want to keep as much, um, you want to keep your answer as unrounded as possible during calculations. Um, but obviously you don't want to type in loads and loads of decimals, so it just depends how good your calculator is with the answer button. Now we, we know the vertical height now is 5.81 or thereabout. Horizontal height is 5.5. If I was being super accurate, I can just keep my entire decimal in the calculator um, and just divide that by 5.5, giving me 1.056, um, which is more than one. Let's just compare what that would be like with this rounding that we've done here. So 5.81 divided by 5. 1.056. Cool. Inconsequential rounding at this stage. So, yep, we've got 1.056 blah blah blah, which we can round to 1.1 if we're going to go for one decimal place. And then answer the question, yes. Stairs should be installed as 1.1 is greater than 1. And we've got our context here, which is saying that it's stairs, and we've got our justification. Okay. Finally, just a little quick practice for you um, to get the skill down. Find the gradient of these ramps. So you can pause and try this. And as if by magic, here are the answers. And for the first two, because you already have the vertical and horizontal, you don't actually need to do the Pythagoras, but just in case you did, we've got it there. As you can see, eh, I made a few mistakes when I was writing things down because grown up people make mistakes too. I've rounded to three decimal places um, on the triangles and then two decimal places for the gradient. But since the question doesn't say, then any appropriate rounding would be fine. Okay, congratulations on making it through this revision. Thank you so much for putting in the effort. 
and I will see you next time.